Y'all, Russ here, RVA TV. Welcome. Check it out. We are on Parker Dam Road. We're just leaving the Parker Dam. Over there at Takeoff Point. Wasn't that a pretty place? Anyway, we're heading down to Quartzsite. We're going to take this scenic view, do a little sightseeing on the way, huh? Why not? You know, right up here, this road to the right. Oh, look! Burrows! This road here takes you up to Black Meadows Landing. Look at those guys, huh? Normally you don't see too many anymore. There's two of them. Heck, we're barely on the road. Black Meadow Landing, that's a big RV park, mobile home. They got a hotel back there. It's 10 miles back and it's right on Lake Havasu. Look at them guys, huh? Too cool for school. <laughs> They're wanting something to eat. Watch this. They're going to come over to the van. Think I'm going to feed them. A lot of people stop. They feed them. You're not supposed to. Look, let me slow down. Yep. Couple old hee haws. No, boys, not in a day. <laughs> See ya. That's fun. Anyway, I've been up to Black Meadow. I never spent a night there. See you guys. But I know a lot of people that have. It's a good little place to camp. Done a few videos on it. All right. There's the big sign about the burrows and don't feed them. Right here on the left, this is all government housing. Sheriff's Department stays there. Workers on the dam. I think Highway Patrol. That's all housing for them. And it is just picture-perfect scenic Colorado River, big red mountain rocks here. I could drive this road every single day. It's slow, but it's scenic. Maybe we'll stop down at Copper Basin, the sand dunes, see if any ATVs are out cruising around. Just one of them lazy days, you know, just gonna take my time getting there. A lot of RV resorts along to here. I think there's like 20 of them. Big massive storage buildings. A lot of day use areas through here. Look at all the RVs just packed in there. Perfect weather been in the 60s kind of windy had a few fronts come through about every third day creates a lot of wind okay right up here across the Colorado that's Arizona I mean you almost throw a rock over there that's that Castle Rock RV park And this one up here, it's called Big Bend. There's a day use area, but where you see all the mobile homes, that's called Big Bend RV Resort. They got a bar, restaurant there, little store. This is California. Oop, oop, here it is. Pull in here, let's see if we can find any ATVs out cruising the sand dunes. It's called Copper Basin. Used to be a lot of copper mines back in here. Well, what we got? A couple trucks and trailers. I don't see anyone. Alright. There's a map here. I'll show it to you. This is all day use. No fees. 
Map of Copper Basin. Big dune areas. It goes way back into the mountains. It's all run by BLM. Pretty popular. Usually you see a few, at least dirt bikes and a few ATVs out here. But you gotta love Parker Dam Road. If you haven't been down to here, you gotta do it. There's a good look at the sand dunes, Copper Basin sand dunes. They go way back into the mountains there. There's trails everywhere. Quite a few uh, videos on YouTube. You can see where they go way back. One of these times I'll bring the dusty nugget over here. Power poles. A lot of old mines back here. They said they uh, mined silver, copper, all kinds of different metals. Plus some of that property back up that direction is uh, all part of the damn federal land their aqueduct system all that and there's a look there's Big Ben RV Resort pretty cool the reason they call it Big Ben look at that bend in the river <laughs> straight across that's uh, Buckskin State Park Give you a little perspective. That's the Arizona side, 95. And this Parker Dam, they just run parallel all the way down. What do you say? Let's keep on trucking. You know, there's a day use area up past the dunes here. It's called Bullfrog. Maybe we'll stop there. We can actually walk all the way down to the water. There on the left, that's hiking trails. Take up top of the little mountains there, and that overlooks uh, Echo Lodge RV Resort. I stayed at that one a few years back. All kinds of power lines running through here, but it's all sandy through here. Sand actually blows over the roads and the winds. They keep it pretty cleaned up. Now we're dropping down, and up here on the left will be Echo Lodge. Gotta love the color of the dirt and the rocks compared to that white sand, huh? Well, yellowish white. Right there's the entrance. Takes you back right down to the water. I stayed there. It's pretty good. Really cheap if you catch it right. All right. Follow the Colorado here. Right up the road, not too much farther, should be Bullfrog. It's a day use area. Take a break. Whoa, that guy's in a hurry. That's one thing you need a little patience on these roads. Look, he, she's, she's going to pass that guy too. Keep on trucking. See all the trees up here on the left? That's where we're going to stop. Take a little break. Check out the Colorado River up close. I've stopped here many, many times. Used to bring my doggy down here. Perfect little day use area. Now these are fee based, I think it's like five bucks and you can st stop at all of them for five dollars a day. Doesn't matter which one or all of them. Yep, 
used to bring my doggy down here, a little bit of green grass. The burros hang out here too. They like eating the grass. <laughs> Got its own little beach. Weekends of boaters are everywhere around here. Here you go. Welcome to the Colorado River. Pretty calm. Not too much wind. Straight across, there's Arizona. I think that's at Fox's RV Resort. But your own beach, right on the Colorado, right here at Bull, Bullfrog Day Use area. Hey, RV or TV was here. <laughs> Wonder how long that'll stay there for, huh? <laughs> Not long. First boat that goes by, the wave will take it out. Fun. Part of RV and look at this old palm, huh? It's a happy camper. It gets all the water at once. All right, to the van we go. Hey, let's go find a ghost town. What do you say? Well, looky here. Right up here on the left, two more uh, burrows, two more hee haws right there. They want to be on RV or TV. <laughs> Love it. Alrighty, right up here on the right. This is part of history of this road. There's a, you'd actually call it a ghost town. It's called Crossroads. Just up past, uh, I forget the name of this one. This is Sundance. Yep, Sundance. They actually got a shuttle boat that'll take you across to the Arizona. Just past this, right up here on the right, we're going to stop. There's a little pull off area. Look at all them storage units. There are just hundreds of them in here. They're big enough, you can pull a big rig in there. Right here. Here it is. This is part of the history of this area. This is what's left of an old abandoned town. Dates way back to when they built the dam, back in the 20s and 30s. That's, what, 90, close to 100 years ago. Crossroads. Let's go across the street. They got a nice sign. That used to be a store, a post office. It tells us more in the sign. I forget what else. You can see the old concrete foundations. Thank goodness they keep some of this stuff. Here you go. Back in the 30s, this was. Construction of uh, the water district, aqueduct, Parker Dam. Two to three thousand people lived here. Five grocery stores, three restaurants, pool hall, barber shop, mortuary, bowling alley, gas stations, garages, two used car lots, church, power plant. My goodness, several saloons. Of course, you got to have a bar. Se several tourist cabins, of course. This is the remains of the Crossroads Mercantile Company. Later, it was a gas station. There's their old pump stand and post office. Made out of rock. Look at that, still standing. If those walls could talk, huh? Probably pull in, the bell would ring. You want some gas to come out and pump it up. Check your mail, get a gallon of milk. 
That ain't more. I love this tree over here. Look at look at this tree how it grew. Let me get a little closer here. Look how it blew over and grew to the other side. <laughs> look at this thing. Now there's a selfie tree right there. Get underneath it and hold your hands up like you're holding it up. <laughs> Too funny. Wonder how old this thing is. Pretty old, but still growing, still alive. All right, cross street, there's uh, more to see. There's some more storyboards. We'll check them on the way out of here. I've filmed this before, it's always a fun stop. I don't mind stopping at all. There's actually still some old uh, streets where the town was here. Here's a map. Kind of shows where the old buildings used to be. Crossways, see right there. That's a town that's over there. That's where that would have been. Right in that area. Because right there, that's that old uh, building. The old gas station post office. Roughnecks ruled, I bet. Old dam workers and ones that build the aqueduct. 1930s. Not too many more years, I'll be a hundred years old. Kind of a, that's the way it used to look. Look, the old 7-Up sign on top. <laughs> Love it. Right down there, that's Crossroads uh, Campground. The only public campground on the Colorado. It's like Five, eight bucks a night. You can stay there. No hookups. Then I forget the name of this one. Colorado, Del Rio, something like that. Huge. It's more of a mobile home park. A few RV sites. Good look at the river. More and more ATV trails. That's what you can just go forever down here on ATVs. Trail after trail, way back up into the mountains. There's the street. That's the old street from the old town. All abandoned now, all gone. Well, cool, if you get a chance, if you're on this road, check, checking out the scenery, be sure to stop here, read the signs, get you a selfie by the tree. Always a great place to stop and have a lunch or something. Then just past this big wash here is the entrance to the campground. Crossroads, right there. Easy to miss. What do you say? Let's head to Parker. That's it. We're at the end of... Parker Dam Road. Right up here is that Highway 62. If we went straight, remember we started here a few videos ago. Went across, seen the old uh, aqueduct with no water. <laughs> that was weird. 
Then we went up through Needles, Route 66, Vidal Junction. Oh, look at that. Highway Patrol checking trucks going out of state. Sneaky, very sneaky. And here's the old railroad bridge. In case you don't know, we're going to cross the Colorado River, which is the state line. We're almost out of California. And I would say right about the middle. We're pretty close. Welcome back to Arizona. We're only about 30 miles from Quartzsite. Well, we'll head down to town. Got to check mail. See what else we can find. Perfect weather. Winter time in the desert. Journey continues. Talk soon.